Hey guys, I'm on search for another Gurkha Kukri up here in the mountains. I gotta climb up to the top of it, and hopefully there'll be one up there. Alright, let's get started. I guess you guys want to take my uh, take you with you, me. Otherwise, that'd be kind of a boring video if I. Welcome back to another episode of Majora's Arsenal. So we made it up here to the top of the mountain. <coughs> I'm going to show you the original kukri. So this is the opure. I had to look up how you properly said it. This is the real nice original one that IMA, International Military Antiques, sells on their website for about $100. Um, did a little bit of research on it. It's got a 13 inch blade with a 4.5 inch handle and it fits perfectly into your hand. It is, it's also got this ring right here around the handle so that your hand is not going to slip. Okay. It is also a rat tail which means that the tang is only going to go about halfway. Uh, through the handle. <coughs> it does uh, have a, a very nice edge to it, and each one has a little cartouche, a Nepalese cartouche in the, in the um, not the stock, the uh, butt of the handle. Okay, and nobody knows what it means exactly. There is no writing on it, so there's no uh, no understanding if it was issued to the Gurkhas or, or what, but uh, Bopur is a region in India that, uh, that produces good quality knives, so most likely these were all private purchase, is what the general consensus is. Um, but it does have the, uh, the cutout, which nobody knows what it is. And uh, all in all, it's a great, great knife. It's about approximately 100 years old. These are probably made in the uh, late 1890s to maybe 1910, 1912 is what the theory goes. Um, the scabbard is uh, thin wood with a leather covering over it. And it originally would have been worn in a sheath. and uh, Not a sheath, I'm sorry, a sash. Okay. And uh, you would have had your two accessory knives as well as a little uh, pouch for spare musket points. And then I don't really want to take the cord around, but that's what would have secured it to your sash. All in all, these are a great, great piece of history. Um, I was fortunate enough that my wife was uh, able to buy me one for Christmas. But uh, it also features a metal tip. And I'll get a close-up of the cartouche.
just kind of figured you had to have a uh, mountainous backdrop for a kukri. There's the sheath. It's got some nice hand stitching along the back, as you can see. And uh, this one just had a little crack in the handle. But all in all, excellent, excellent knife and excellent piece of history. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, be sure to visit their website and pick one up. And uh, this one I hang on the wall. I don't really ever take it out with me. And if I do, I've got it wrapped up like that. But uh, it's definitely not going to hang from my belt. And uh, definitely not going to put it on a sash around me. So thanks for watching. Appreciate all the subscribers. And uh, stay tuned for some more.